Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy P. Light, aka the Brick Slinger, and guess what? Your boy got something to say. Now, some of you probably just like me have heard this little thing about Jesus being Jesus when he was on this earth, being poor, broke, and homeless. Well, that is one hundred percent false. Two. No, and to a major degree that Jesus was never, ever poor, or broke, or homeless. Uh, scriptures even proves it. If you read the gospel of Jesus Christ, you read the gospel, all four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you will find out that Jesus was never either broke, poor, or homeless whatsoever for many people that try to make it seem like jesus was poor broke and and, and and homeless based upon the scripture that said that he traded in his riches and you go further than that you know but quite frankly the gospel never proved that he was either broke or homeless in whatsoever and i have learned this from the likes of cleflo dollar uh frederick price jr and done my own research and done my own studying as well so let's put it like this the time of his birth he was he was born in a manger in a manger as a babe shepherds came along to honor the king the, the one that's going that is known as the lamb of god it was shepherds that came to see him but in the book of now you can find that in the gospel of luke now here's the crazy part in the book of matthews it mentioned a child known as Jesus. But here's the thing. It was some wise men. It was never three wise men. It was always wise men. We don't know the numbers of how many wise men it was, but chances are it was more than three. The only time we only get three is through the gifts. Gold, uh, frankincense, and myrrh. So, they met a child. They ain't met no babe jesus they met a child known as jesus they met the kid messiah the shepherd learned found out about the baby messiah a couple of years later the these wise men from out of town after meeting up with her trying to find the star that let it be known that the messiah has arrived met the child and chances are the child was probably and y'all know average age of a child is what two years old tops two three years old tops and yet they coming around with myrrh frankincense frankincense and gold and we don't even know how many how much it was but we know that there was wise men who practically could have been 10 20 people serving out gold serving serving out a, a crazy amount of gold a crazy amount of frankincense and a crazy amount of myrrh and we talking about top notch mineral minerals we talking top notch metal we talking about top notch mineral we talking about a top notch uh uh uh, uh scent worse whatsoever but yet it was never three wise men it was never three kings you know what i'm saying it was more it was practically more. We didn't get a particular number, but we definitely know it was more than three. Only time we get three is when it comes to those gifts. And yet, they found him in a house. The shepherd found Jesus in a manger, in a in a in a in a farm, in a farm, in a barn with animals and stuff. But yet, these wise men, these kings, found Jesus in a house. How in the world? He can be poor, broke, and homeless if he was in a house as a kid. In a as a kid, gets old. He gets older, 
and he getting baptized by his own cousin John the Baptist. And then a few of his few disciples was like, "Yo, where do you, where do you abide in? This is in the Book of John. You can find that in the Book of John. Hey, where you abide in? Where you stand? Where you chilling at? Where you laying your head at?" Jesus said, "Come with me, and you'll see." How can you be poor, broken, homeless if you telling cats, hey, this is where I'm laying my head at? And Proverbs makes it clear there ain't no way in the world that a poor man can have friends. Jesus had 12 disciples plus some other extra disciples. And oh, yeah, we got to set some records straight. Jesus had more than 12 disciples. 12, he had more than 12 disciples. Let's keep it a buck. You read the gospel and study and show yourself approved and you will find that Jesus had more than 12 disciples. Only thing is he only them 12 disciples was practically his first class, his first set of students, his first set of uh, little homies. That's it. But yet he had more than 12. But yet is the thing. In Proverbs. You'll find out that a home, a poor man do not have friends. A rich man have friends, but a poor man do never have friends. So how can Jesus be poor when he had 12 disciples plus some extra extra set of group? Because you know he had more than he had more than 12 when his disciples was like, yo, we found some cats that were doing what we do, but they don't rock with us, so. We told them to stop. And Jesus said, no, if they're not against you, then they for you. How can you, you tell me how in the world you're going to be poor, broken, homeless when you got cats doing doing the same thing you're doing? Ape spreading the message just as much as your little homies are doing. You know what I'm saying? So how can that be? So then then they try, then they probably use the argument of foxes have holes. Bird have nests, but the son of man do not know where he going do not have a place to raise it. I'm like, come on now. Like, if you really tell, look at the story, you'll find out that Jesus was in another town, another village. Uh, and, and this village, this particular town is not Jewish welcomed. Ain't no way you will be welcoming Jews. Jew, no Jews are, back, are practically welcome in this particular area. And there's been plenty of time where Jesus had to step outside of the Jewish uh, Jewish um, area, territory, uh, Jewish community, just to communicate with folks that are not Jews. He done, And it's not the first time he's done this. You know what I'm saying? Many people would make check out the place where he... Uh, 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 get the water with a young lady that's had five. That already that had five husbands, and one dude that she was messing with ain't really her husband. So it ain't the first time, and then you gotta realize that there was time when he was in other places, and that was not what what Jews was there. And there was a young lady who was a Canaanite. We're like, yo, hook hook the sister up, hook the sister up. I got a daughter that needs help. Need your healing. Need your help. Jesus was like, "Hey, check this out. Uh, I'm not rocking with you. Uh, I'm looking out for the. I'm trying to ch search out. I'm searching for the lost uh, sheep of Israel. So I can, uh, these blessings that is given to me to give to them, it's not meant for you know. What I'm saying can't be giving out breads to the dogs. And she was like, "Yo, even the dogs enjoy the crumbs of the master tables. Here's your blessing, baby." Here's your blessing. Go ahead, rock with that. But yet, back to back to the whole purpose of this uh, topic. He was at a place. Him and a couple of the disciples were at a place where they weren't opening doors for Jesus. They weren't rocking with Jesus, and that's been And when and they was like, "Yo, come on, um, Jesus, these cats over here tripping. They ain't rocking with us. They ain't trying to." Man, let's just go ahead and shut this place down. We're like, nah, nah, nah. Foxes have holes. Birds have nests. But the son of man do not have a place to rest his head. So they had to go somewhere else. Because there's been plenty of times Jesus had to say, yo, if you go to a town and they don't welcome you, just dust your feet and just can keep it moving. And that's exactly what Jesus did. So it have nothing to do with him being homeless 
whatsoever. And let's not forget when he was on the cross. When he was on the cross, his clothes was being that was shooting craps with his man's clothes. That was shooting craps at this for this man clothes. You know what I'm saying? How in the world you be poor, broken, homeless when your clothes do not get ripped up whatsoever, but yet it's being they Mmm. Mm. They was they was shooting them crap for some for this man's clothes. And then, let's not forget the man had a treasure. So how you know any broke person you know any broke person with a treasure? You know any poor person with a treasure? Remember, a poor person do not make friends. So how can a poor person get a treasure? That's something to think about. Folks, I'm 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 really challenging y'all to get in the word for yourself. Read the gospel for yourself. Don't just take people's word for it and don't be paying attention to the narrative of people trying to make it seem like folks ain't, ain't getting in their word. If you get in the word and study and show yourself approved, you will find out the truth for yourself. Because I guarantee you, you're going to continue to be entertained by the media. You're going to continue to be uh, entertained by folks who claim to know the, Bible, know the word, that claim to read the Bible. And you're definitely going to be entertained by those who oppose the Bible, who oppose Jesus. They're making Jesus look ridiculous, more ridiculous than he really ain't supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? But truth be told, God is God willing. Once you get done with this video, just go and get your Bible. Start reading the gospel. Start off with the book. Um, start off with the book of John. Because I guarantee you, each gospel is set up from a different angle. Four different angles dealing with the story of Jesus. Because you're going to get a perspective of Jesus being either the son, once the son of God, the, he, the Hebrew teacher, you know what I'm saying, the savior of the world. got to see it all from these particular angles. Because... The writers of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they did not write this stuff so Jesus can be acknowledged as poor, broke, and homeless. There ain't no way these writers wanted Jesus to be acknowledged as poor, broke, and homeless. They wanted to acknowledge Jesus as Lord, Savior, Son of God, ultimate teacher, revolutionary, revolutionist, you know what I'm saying? And then some. So please read the gospel. Read the gospel for yourself. And I and I pray, I pray that once you get done, just check it over again and again and again, and be a blessing to others as you've been blessed. You know what I'm saying? Until then, it's your boy Pila, aka the Brick Slinger, and I I pray that you uh, get an opportunity to read the gospel for yourself. Get that word in. And get have the word in you. You know what I'm saying? So, as always, keep sharpening one another. Support the kingdom. Take care and God bless. Labor word.